going to show you one of the best ways to attack really any defense in Madden. It comes to us at the tight slots halfback week. And the play we're going to be going over today is the play Flood. Now, if you want to get my entire Cincinnati Bengals offensive ebook, I actually just dropped a major update to it in the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member, and you'll get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. So uh, this play is really effective for a lot of different reasons. There's a lot of things we can do with this play, uh, but I want to show you my favorite way to run it it's right now. So uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to streak the left side receiver, and then I like to block my running back for extra pass protection. And then because we have slot apprentice, I'm going to put the uh, right side receiver on a, a post route, a slot apprentice post. Now, if you don't have slot apprentice, all you need to do is put him on a smart routed in route, and it will serve the same basic function. Now, again, zone coverage, the main read on this play is going to be this corner route, as you see right here. This is the best corner route in the game, in my opinion. It is able to attack zone very, very well. And with the cover four drop, uh, the beauty of this is when we run this with our tight set to the short side of the field, it's going to get open. Now, man coverage, this corner out normally also gets open. I will say man coverage this year is a little bit inconsistent, and so sometimes it gets covered. And if it does get covered, one of the best things to do if you see this is covered is you just want to check down to this freeform drag. Drag routes, in my opinion, are one of the best routes in the game this year for beating man coverage consistently. It's also one of the best plays uh, in the game for beating any coverage that is not a hard flat or a shaded down hook zone. So what you'll see with this play is if they don't shade their hook, hook, hook zones down, I can throw that quick throw to the tight end every single time. So even if even if they have hard flats, and I'll show that. So I'm going to put a hard flat out here uh, in a cover two scenario. You'll see this tight end drag is so good this year because basically if they don't have those yellow zones, you'll see right. I can throw that kind of right in that little pocket right there. Now, in that example, we have a three rack. Let me kind of set up a coverage for you. Uh, a little bit more kind of what you're going to get here. So let's say they have hard flats. They have a bird hook, but they don't shade it underneath um, so that it stops, you know, those those underneath patterns. The beauty of this play is the hard flats this year, they don't really get in the middle of the field. So I can quick throw that right in that little pocket if the user jumps to that, that slot apprentice post over the middle of the field. So the beauty of this becomes now, if you think about what they have to do defensively, there's a lot of things that they're going to have to do. Now, the other cool part about this play is that this, this uh, deep corner route is also really good against any kind of cover two or cover three. So really any zone, you're going to have a lot of success. In some compression sets, the vertical hook will match corner routes, but because of tight slots as alignment, and this is what has made tight slots really good for years in Madden, they can't really guard this corner route. So it makes it so good against zone and so consistent against zone coverage. You'll see here, here's a cover three. You see, he kind of looks like he's going to match it, and then he doesn't, and you see we're able to throw the ball to the sideline. This play also works against match coverage. Match coverage is not good right now in Madden 24, and for a lot of reasons, you're going to see it does going to, it is going to match him there. It actually played kind of okay there. Um, but basically what match coverage is going to do is it's going to be almost like delayed man coverage this year. It's, it's literally going to play very similar to man coverage, but with very broken rules underneath. So all you've got to do if you see match, you just want to freeform this to the sideline, and you see that I can throw that a little bit better. I wasn't freeforming it before. You want to freeform this to the sideline uh, to be able to attack match coverage. Last thing I want to show you is if they're not hard flatting, even if they do have shaded down vertical hooks, the beauty of this tight end drag just can't be overstated. You see here, I can throw this to the sideline, and I can get upfield for an easy 5 to 10 yards. What that right there does is it forces your opponent to play hard flats and shaded down uh, yellow zone. So uh, let's say, for example, your opponent wants to blitz you. It's almost impossible to blitz this formation because there's so many reads that we have available. So here you have a shaded down vert hook, a hard flat, a cloud flat, and we're going to roll the coverage over the middle. And then the user is going to have to use her, um, the tight end post early on in the play. So you'll see here, here's your tight end drag. You see this is going to play the tight end drag. If I wait on this corner route, it gets over the top of the cover two. And you see this is why this is one of the best plays in the entire game. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get my entire tight slots aspect week offensive ebook, just dropped an update to it in the Patreon. You can sign up by joining the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. The link is down in the description below.